Back at home now, the entertainer Merv Griffin has died. He enjoyed a long and successful career as a talk show host. But it is what he did behind the cameras that made him a real Hollywood legend. ABC's Brian Rooney reports. What most people wouldn't know about Merv Griffin was that he was an entertainment and business genius who built an empire. But it started back when he was a fixture on daytime television. I want you to get all the best shots. Not that you need them. You're a beautiful woman. You don't have a bad side. The talk show he launched in 1964 lasted nearly a quarter century. He didn't really interview his famous guests. He just sort of hung out with them. Congratulations, you're in order. You got married. Yes, I did. You look terrific, Jack. I what? You look terrific. I feel marvelous. You playing tennis? I tied right that. Look, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. He had an unusual talent for just being himself, and his audience liked that. He hosted 5,500 television shows in what was an unlikely career for a man who started as a singer and entertainer. In 1950, that song sold three million copies. What followed was a brief and forgettable film career, until television executives decided his affable personality made him the perfect talk show host. Was there a teacher who said, don't be a minor, be the world's greatest actor? Less known to his public was that he was a power in television itself, creating two of the most successful shows in history. Also, Jeopardy, for which he even wrote that thinking music. Everybody knows my little song that I wrote for it. Griffin sold his television company for a quarter billion dollars in 1986, then turned that fortune into a real estate and horse racing conglomerate last valued at $1.6 billion. But television was in his blood. He said he'd like his epitaph to read, stay tuned. He was 82. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Hollywood. Coming up on World News this Sunday, Mean Streets. Three